What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and I am here with a make it pretty face video. Make it a pretty face. It's a makeup tutorial. How y'all like my rent? Yeah, I didn't go uh, plum. I didn't do it plum because I don't, I just don't want to damage my hair. My, my hair is uh, it's in good shape as you can see. So I just had a, a rinse put in, did a rinse. And uh, I just went with the black rinse, y'all. I ain't trying to put no color in like that. But anyway, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial for y'all. It's my first one, 2019 video. Hey, hey. Okay, enough of that. Anyway, y'all see my eyes? See? Now, I'm not gonna blame this on age. I'm gonna blame this on a lack of sleep. Allergies, not enough water, drinking too much caffeine. Caffeine gets rid of these stuff. This is Genevieve. This is from Lancome. And you're supposed to take a drop, whatever, and you're supposed to put them on a little puffy pot. Look at puffy. You have to do this when you get this age. Some people, some people have to do it when they get that age. You know, put it over my eyes. It's like an eye cream. And I let it dry while well, rubbing it so. Like that. And then um, I let it dry. But anyway, when I um, do my makeup, first thing I start off with, while it's drying, um, they have my exact shade. This is this is Revlon 370. Have my exact, exact color. Anyway, this is how I do my eyebrows. I brush them up with the brush old-fashioned way. I don't like all that extra. And I always take and I go up above, I make two lines here and there. And then I just go back with the, the pencil and draw them on that way as I shape them, as I draw. I don't like being too dramatic when, when it comes to I, I uh, bra, especially at my age, keep keep it real, you know, keep it real looking. And uh, I don't think I had my eyebrows arched since I was in Michigan uh, in the summertime. I started doing it myself, you know, because every time I ask them not to take so much eyebrows off, they take them off anyway. So I was like, forget it, you know, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to get you to shape my eyebrows. I'm not trying to get you to take all my eyebrows off because your eyebrows should come about at least where they come, like how mine's is. You know, they was taking it off and taking it up there and shortening them up here. And they was just messing me up. So I was like, you know what? I know how I want my eyebrows to look. And that's how I started doing my own. So I started plucking them, like back in the day. And I take and shape them myself. And I don't know what my tweezers are, so whatever. This is a um, primer for my face. I got this down the street at a beauty supply. It's called Never Touch Up. It's a face primer for it's called a blemish sweep. I don't know why I got that kind, but anyway, I just always take that amount on my finger and I dab it over here and over here. And then I just take, I don't want to rub mess my eyebrows if I just did. Uh, uh, I don't need to go up in my face like a, <laughs> yeah, cause I don't, see, I don't need that much all in your face like that. Okay. So I probably shouldn't have did this like when I just first woke up, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because I'm showing y'all this. I woke up like this. Hey, I can feel a baby. Ain't no tracks up in there. Hey. Okay. Back to Reef again. Okay. Now. This is by Tarte, and this is a concealer that I had went and bought at Ultra. Is that Ultra or Ulta? I think it's Ulta. And what I do with this is I usually just take this and I just sweep under here with it. Like I said, I just woke up and I didn't give my face enough time to wake up as far as what I'm talking about, form out. So I'm putting this on top of my eyes. This is a daily, y'all. This is what I do. I've been making my face like this for years. And I'm just gonna do that right there on the eyes part. Cause for some reason my eyes, I don't know, they uh, they seem to always have stood out to me more. And it seems like my under, my uh, these under my eyes, whatever you call these things, bags or whatever, they're taking away 
to me the attraction of my eyes. I'm gonna let y'all know. I, 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 I'm gonna be honest with you all. Eventually, I am gonna have surgery on these. Um, my cousin Tasha had hers done. I think she said it was three grand to remove the bags under the eyes, which is, to me, worth it. Also, I heard about it's some fillers that you use that's like three to five hundred dollars. You can do that as well. But I don't know about them fillers because I don't know what's in that stuff. Um, and it's kind of scary. And I don't see how, it's, how a filler would work. No, y'all y'all gonna get a different color from what I'm getting right now. So I just kind of blend it down one too much. Um, people make their faces up different ways. Some people just go ahead and finish their eyes. I'll go across the top of here like this too. Always had a red nose like Rudolph. I don't know why. But anyways, so and the next thing that I do, um, I use my foundation and I use where's that brush at? I'm to use this one. I use the bigger one. It's a little small but it's big and I scrub it on just like that because I don't like too much foundation. As you know I have these brown pigmentation marks. Which I, I can't, which I can't stand. Um, but it is what it is. It could be worse, but it ain't. Okay, so I just take my brush and go up. Now to me, to me, that's too much foundation. And some people be like, girl, you need foundation. So I take and always move some to this side. And uh, I put some on this side. Mm -hmm. Red my nose is. My skin is so different. Well, some parts of me is yellow. Some parts of me is brown. Some parts of me is, is red. And you see this? I like to go over here and make a blend this in. I don't want to put too much. Sometimes I do this with my finger. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on this side. Like I said, I don't want that much foundation on my face. I, I, I hate, you know, when people get foundation on their face, it just be so caked up. You're like, dang, girl, take your finger and just scrape it and you'll leave a trail of lying on your face. Now this is the foundation, I'm saying. I put the concealer part just under my eyes and around my eyes. This is the foundation on the face. And it takes me a minute because I like to even it up, you know. The eye went in some, the puffiness went in. It's a puff that sticks out on the side. It's like every time I wake up, and I can tell when it's raining outside, my eyes are just, you know, just like somebody just took and held me down and punched me all in my eyes. Thank God that never happened. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and that's pretty much with this, with the foundation. I really don't really care about these because even though I'm covering them up, which I don't know why, I guess I'm just putting the foundation all over the face, but actually I am uh, just gonna cover that up with blush anyway. Believe it or not, um, I used to just make my face up just like this and we'll be done with it. We'll put the, you know, the shadows on and things like that and the liner and mascara as I do. But to tell you the truth, when that contour and stuff first came out, I didn't learn from other people. I didn't learn from, you know, makeup tutorials or anything like that. I learned from Queen. Uh, watch Queen sit and put her makeup on and she would, uh, I would try to do it. And she'd be like, mama, that's not your color. That don't look right. You're doing it wrong. And this is a, a a contour. This is beige at the bottom, which is not my color, but this is the brown. And I take the brown and I go, like I say, on one side of each nose. Like this. And then I take a little bridge and go across. And then I go up here. And go over here. And then I take the line, I go here. And I go, oh, oops, under here. And I used to go here. 
but like I said, I automatically got that. It's already there, or the pigmentation marks in the spot with my contour. So it's almost like a natural contour marks or whatever that's on my face. And um, and so I don't want to just keep darkening them by putting um, you know, foundation or stuff on like that. Um, I, I usually use this sponger to blend these in. But uh, I'll, I'll blend this in around the bottom of my face, but as far as when it comes to my nose, and uh, I'll see when it comes to my forehead, but I'm gonna use my finger. And it's supposed to cause a shadow around the face. Yeah, that's what they say you do. Oh, I forgot to do one more thing, y'all. I'm supposed to put it there. Look under your lip the little line which I had it anyway because my my lip throw it in a little bit my lip does come over the top part of my but anyway it's just something I see and I'm using my finger to kind of smear this in take it away without taking it away I'm trying to leave that shadow there that brown shadow I'm trying to take it away without taking it away yeah that type of thing where I got this line, which I narrowed that out. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend this in, a little tan on your forehead, you know, when the sun hit. Now I'm not doing too much with this, y'all. And so now this is a, uh, this is a powder. This is why I don't like to do a contour on here. I do this powder because what I'm gonna do is, I do the powder before I put my blush on my face. And when, when I do the powder, I like to take my uh, feather light brush and just go across here, cover up a little bit of the shadow without covering up the shadow. Now, some of y'all may say, you're doing them steps backwards. Well, maybe, but what works best for you, y'all? You gotta do what works best for you, I can't do it like somebody else make their face because actually you know that's their face all right and so where is this i'm gonna show you this little light concealer that i use i remember when queen used to be at home i used to be in my bathroom just like this and i'd be like where's my thing queen first thing come out my mouth you had where my eyeliner you had it yeah i'm gonna use this this is for blush but the blush that i got is by mac some, I don't know. I don't understand why that blush. I have to use my fingernail to get the powder up. It's like a, it's not like a smooth, you know. It's supposed to come up off the brush and come on real pretty, but it acts like a cheap blush. And I will never get a, a blush no more from Mac. Matter of fact, Mac ain't all that. I'm sorry, y'all. Mac not all that. I got to find me somebody else. Okay, this is a highlight. I'm just going up under here on my eyes. I don't put too much, y'all. That's good enough for me. I don't need no more. Cause what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take and blend that in with this brush. Cause it's smaller and it just brushes in and blends better. A lot of people go ahead and they make their eyes up first, like I said, with the shadows and things because they figure like the powder from the shadow will get on your face. Of course I use, um, check on something. I use uh, this a lot, the Too Faced uh, makeup palette. It's got pretty colors in it. But I'm gonna tell you, I haven't, excuse me, the colors in here. I can't see it, there it go. I haven't used it in a while uh, because I ran across this color, at this palette at the Beauty Supply and I fell in love with these colors because it got all, mostly all the colors in it. and. Um, Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm finding out a lot of stuff. Now, some makeup, yes, it works fine. But, you know, once you put a concealer on your, your eye uh, bra area, your hoods and all that, you'll find out that uh, any shadow that you use will work. See, I blended that in. And I'm gonna take this. This feather brush, this is one I use in my dry foundation with. And I just wanna go kinda of like on each side of my nose, so it kinda of like blend in. Okay, so 
So this is where the eyeshadow come in at. I'll do the blush and the lips last, but this is the eyeshadow. I'm gonna show you how I do my lips too, because I don't like a lot of, uh, I bought some red lipstick from MAC. Boy, do I feel like a, a floozy. I haven't used that word in a long time. So um, today, mm, yeah, I guess I'll go with a green. Let me do like a green on my eye. I could go in with the with the brown and the crease, just like this, but very little. This is to make your hood back up. You know, you don't you don't want your hood to be like it's falling over the eyes. And when you do a light color on your hoods, you bring them out more. So when you go inside your crease with the dark color, it makes your hood appears to be gone. And then I use this right here. This is my top liner. This is my Revlon. I live by it. I go out and get that the other stuff if y'all want to at the, what's it called? I stick right in Walmart, what, what works for me. And I just want to do a thin line. So when you're an older woman, uh, you know, you want to tone down a lot. You don't want to be overdoing too much and stuff like that, being an uh, a older woman. You want to look like you age gracefully. You know what I'm saying? You want to be, uh, I enjoy my age. I embrace my age. I'm 48 years old. Um, I'll be 49 this year and I'm embracing my age. Never be ashamed of your age. Some people don't make it to live your age, you know what I'm saying? Us older women, some people don't make it past our age. Never be ashamed of your age. And you know, I see different things each day when I wake up in my face, how my face has changed from, I can look back on pictures from three years ago and I just look at my face and crack up laughing and I'll see, oh my God, I see my mother. Oh my God, I see my grandmother. I see, you know, my aunt or something like that. But you, you, I embrace, I embrace my age. You know, I thank God for my, I thank God to see 48 years and I'm thanking them in advance because I know that tomorrow was not promised but God I thank you for being able to, I'm gonna see 49 in the name of Jesus I got this at, uh, uh, this is the Mac too this is a, a waterproof mascara I went and found this because I felt too also at my age uh, you know seems like you lose your lashes and stuff you know but I wasn't so I had to go and uh, find me a, a good mascara on my eyes that would encourage me to stay away from false lashes. I ain't wore false lashes. I maybe wore them twice or three times in my life. Uh, but as far as making it an everyday thing, I do not want to do that because I'm the type of person and I don't want too much fake. Everything can't be fake. Like if you're gonna wear fake hair, let the lashes be. I mean, everything just can't be fake. I mean, with each his own, though. I'm just saying about me how I feel, you know. Whatever you do got to do to dress yourself up, dress yourself up and make yourself feel good. But me, let something be original. That's why I don't like to dress them eyebrows up like that. You know, I hear when men talk about us and say stuff like, dang, any woman got real eyebrows out there? I mean, who eyebrows is real? You know what I'm saying? Get that man something. I mean, he don't want to, um, Wake up to, you know, he go to sleep next to a beauty queen and wake up next to a booger bear. You're like, hold up, this ain't the woman I married. Or this ain't the woman, you know, I went to bed with last night. You know, I don't scare him up too bad now. Let him see a little bit. That way he be like, uh, uh, let, him, let him see your flaws. If he sees your flaws, he'll begin to love them flaws. But if you never show a man your flaws, and I'm talking about as far as anything on you, your hair, you know, let them see them edges sometimes. Let them see them, you know? Don't hide them edges all the time. Everybody ain't gonna wake up with no silky smooth edges unless you just got that, you know, type of uh, blood in you that, that had a hair like that. But if you ain't got them edges, you know, let them edges be, you know? Um, this is my MAC liner. Now, I always have a hard time with this, y'all. I, uh, 
So I learned not to put this on so thick. So I'm going inside the eye, right on the eyelid, and I do it like this and I close my eye because it seems to even out. because that's it if you put too much of that on there it's gonna start to look yeah you don't want it to look like that so here's my y'all don't talk about it but i'm gonna tell y'all the truth here it look i'll call it 1980. here's my 1980 blush brush but i'm sorry this and this is the the blush that i was talking about i got from the mac and I, it looks like this because i do that brush real hard because it seems like by this brush across it it don't come off so i'm going in here now what's crazy is when it comes to my lips y'all um i'm funny uh you see the pinkness of my lips i like that so what i do is i try to bring it out more and believe it or not y'all some tricks that we use uh i have this this brush you see these colors? These two, this pink and this little hottest pinkish, I will never use that as an eyeshadow, never. I don't think it would look right. I, I just think like somebody would punch me in my eye. I might as well put a purple with it and look like I got beat up. But I take the, 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 the pink here and I take a little bit of this and I... You know why I'm doing this also? I can't find this color nowhere. I cannot find it. That's how I do that. And I put a little shine on it. Just a little. Cause everybody likes their lip gloss to be popping. But at the same time, don't put too much of it. That's terrible. That's terrible. And believe it or not y'all, that's it. That's how I, my makeup tutorial, that's how I do it. And uh, I notice I know I keep playing in my hair. That's because I'm proud of it. I thank the Lord for my hair because uh, I remember a time when I was young, I didn't like my hair. I didn't like, somebody told me, and I'm not gonna say no names because I ain't trying to blast nobody out. But you know, be careful what you say to a child when they're young. You tell them uh, you need to hide this, or you need to hide your hair because your hair is not good enough. Your hair is not it's not pretty enough. It's not silky enough. It's not straight enough. Actually, it's nappy, so you need to cover it up. So um, uh, I, I grew up hating my hair because that was told to me by you know some adults. And, um, and so it kind of, you know, uh, stayed with me as a child. And as I got older, that's when I, I become to appreciate myself and how God has made me. Never be ashamed of your hair. Never be ashamed of you. Never be ashamed of your age. Never be ashamed of your color. You are who God says you are. You cannot change yourself. God does not make mistakes. So if you came out half yellow, whether you're brown, or, or uh, uh, red in some areas, embrace it. Thank God for it. Um, if you're aging, embrace it. Thank God for it. Some people don't live to see age and, and, and uh, lines and wrinkles in their face. You know, somebody said, if you don't get old, you get dead. You know, thank God. Praise God for that. You know, thank God for uh, uh, your, your gray hair. You know, I cover mine because like I said, mine's growing blotches. If it was grow straight evenly down my hair like a pretty gray, I could see, oh yeah, some streaks of gray, that's pretty. But for some reason, I just get a blot right here and it just looks so funny because it's in the roots and nothing else. But yeah, and learn how to embrace yourself and love yourself regardless of what people say about you. I am so glad that God has healed my mind that when I became an older woman, um, I appreciate me. I love me. I love Reba. And I just want to end this video with that note. I want y'all all to be positive. Have a prosperous 2019 new year. Peace out in the name of Jesus. Be blessed.